All Igbos in Lagos must read this. See unexpected announcement Ohanese just made. The pan Igbo social political organization known as Ohanese in Dibo has issued a strong condemnation of the recent demolition of Igbo dominated market in the state of Lagos. The markets in the state of Lagos were completely demolished, a statement made by Mazi Okechuku Isi Guzuru, who serves as the Secretary General of the organization. In the statement, he expressed the group's severe dissatisfaction. The organization issued a statement in which it encouraged President Tenobu and Governor Sonwolu to take immediate action in order to prevent any additional demolitions from taking place. In a press statement that was published on Saturday, Ohanez Ndibu angrily criticized what is considered to be a blatant utilization of state machinery to target peaceful Igbo businessmen in Lagos without providing them prior warning or performing an investigation of their goods and products. The release was issued in response to the fact that Ohanez Ndibu had issued the press release. It was brought to the group's attention that a film that has recently uploaded to the incident was the source of their concern regarding the disturbing events that had taken place. As the demolition of the Trinity Spare Parts market in Apapa took place on February 1st, 2024, the film depicted a group of unfortunate Igbo business people who were unable to preserve the items from being destroyed. He emphasized that Ohane Zendibo is meticulously recording the deliberate demolition of Igbo populated marketplaces in Lagos, and he pointed out that there is a dictating pattern in this demolition. Isi Guzuru also mentioned that there is a pattern in the demolition. A call was placed by the Secretary General to the President, Tunupa and Governor Son Wolu, encouraging them to take urgent action and put a halt to any demolition that may occur in the future. Continuing to accept Igbo traders in the name of development is not acceptable, according to the Secretary General, who declared that his behavior is unacceptable. Hmm. What is actually going on? After demolishing their houses, you are now delivering their markets. And you come outside now and say, eh, you did not do this one. No. Why? All right, this particular issue now, this issue, I cannot imagine. Sincerely, I cannot begin now to imagine what these people are going through. Do you know that it is still the same people? It's not this late last year. Is it not in the December period? Or this year, it's not late last year that they demolished a lot of people's houses. Some people have not come out of that one. Some people today, they have not been able to get themselves shy. They are going through a lot. Some of them that traveled for, for what's it called? They traveled for, uh, what's it called? This um, festival, retired period. They did not come back because there was nothing to come back to. And now you came again and you are demolishing their market. For what reason? And it's even more painful that they are coming out to say they did not give them reasons. They did not even allow them to take their goods. This is sheer, sheer, sheer wickedness. Sheer wickedness. Sincerely, it is not supposed to happen at all, at all, at all. It's not supposed to happen. They will not stop or they have the temerity to bring your brother to contest election with their God. It's not funny. Do you know how painful this is? Some of them may not even get to even recover from this at all. And see, coming out to say, eh, it is not targeted out to the evils. Come on now, come on, come on. Ha! Huh. This is not fair. It is not fair at all. It is not fair at all. Whatever they are doing, it is not okay. They cannot come outside and say, eh, this one, this is not it. Because that time they will come out and say, no, they don't target it at the Igbos. Oh, come on now. It's not fair. Look at it. From the pictures I'm seeing here, Omo, you look at business to south, Relocate business to South East and be demolition of markets in Lagos. Well, this is going to be a huge one for the South East and Asha. 
I hope that you know why we are saying okay this is wrong. I hope that this now teaches them to go and develop their place. I hope this teaches them and this teaches them and this opens their eyes that there is no place like home. There is no place like home. You can build your business there. This kind of thing cannot, I don't think it can happen. Even if it will happen, you know how to, you will know how to work out, look for the compensation. Do you understand? This can happen. My heart is going out to these people though. Sincerely, my heart is going out to them. This is not at this period in time where things are expensive. Imagine you, maybe have you, you even borrowed to even buy goods. This period. You borrowed and as you are selling out, you are paying. And they have come to destroy the ones you have. In the name of their doing what? doesn't make any sense. It certainly does not make any atom of sense at all, at all. It doesn't make any sense. It was, it's not supposed to be now. It's not supposed to, it is not supposed to be, ah, no, if I speak tomorrow tense. Eh? Hmm. Now, wow. Well, I don't even know what else to say. I don't know what else to say at all, at all. All right. During election, that is how these people they drag them, drag them, drag them. Election time, a lot of them, you have, you know, after election, they still continued. To me, there is no how you come out and say this is no witch hunt. There is no how you, there is no how need you cannot come out and say this is no witch hunt. To me, this is witch hunt. This is it. It's witch hunting. Sincerely, I don't, I don't understand anymore. Sincerely, I do not understand. Well, like I said to the Southeasterners, this is what, this is a call to wake, the call to wake up from their slumber. There is no place at home. It is the build, the build, the build your business, the establish that place. So that, you know, in case of nobody is saying this should happen again, but in case of it happens, in case it happens, you will not be running up and down. Sincerely. All right, at the end of the day, hopefully, we hope that, you know, just as they are calling on the president and the, what they call the governor of Lagos State to come to their aid and to help them pass, you know, the demolition, we just hope that they are actually attended to. Because at this point in time, let's see if it's because of this thing now, eh? Go, go jump inside Lagoon, sincerely. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for Tune in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest.